Lately, we've been seeing a lot of homemade face masks from things like t-shirts, tissues, and even from bras. Sorry to break it to you, but none of these things are gonna provide you, the wear, much protection against viruses. Hi, I'm Diane Vukovic from PrimalSurvivor.net and author of the book, Disaster Preparedness for Women. And I'm gonna show you how to make a face mask at home, which can actually keep you safe. Before I show you how to make the face mask, I wanna to talk to you a bit about N95 respirators and how they work. There's two things that make them effective against viruses, filtration and fit. These face masks are made out of HEPA vacuum cleaner bags. The HEPA vacuum bags are actually certified to remove 99.7% of particles down to 0.3 microns. That's actually more effective at removing pathogens than the N95 masks. There's even a NASA study which found HEPA filters are nearly 100% effective against particles down to 0.01 microns. For this reason, I think that HEPA vacuum bags are the best material we can find at home for making our own face masks. Right, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out my pattern. I'll put the link to the patterns below the video. See, this is the pattern for the actual face mask, and this pattern is for the HEPA material that's gonna go inside the face mask. I'm just gonna set this one aside for now, and I'm gonna take my fabric. This is for the back of the mask, and this is for the front, and I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to trace the pattern onto here. Make sure you leave at least a quarter inch seam allowance if you're really bad at sewing, or you're sewing by hand, you might even want to leave a larger seam allowance. And I'm just going to cut it out. Again, remember, leave at least a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to do the same thing with my other piece of fabric. And I'm just gonna cut it out. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is sew down the center line here. That's the part that's gonna be going from your nose down to your chin. Make sure your fabric's pinned together if you have two-sided fabric, make sure the outsides of the fabric are facing outwards. And you're just gonna sew right down that line. When you're done, this is what it's gonna look like. And at this point, you can even open it up and hold it against your face to see how the fit's gonna be. Yeah, that seems like it's gonna be pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do, open these up and we're gonna pin them together. Again, outside of the fabric, facing outwards. And I'm just gonna line these up as best as I can and pin them in place. When you're done with that, you're going to sew three sides of this. Starting from one side down here at the bottom, going up, all around here, and then down here. You wanna leave the bottom open because you're gonna to have to insert the filter afterwards. Here's one that I already pre-sewed together. Right, you can see the stitching here, how it goes, and how it's gonna fit against my face. The next step is we're gonna get our filter ready. So I've got my HEPA bag, and I'm just gonna remove this cardboard portion. Now, I did see some videos where people were making face masks out of vacuum cleaner bags and putting the material right against their face. I would advise against that because HEPA bags are actually made from fiberglass threads. Now, the threads are large enough that right now I'm not worried about breathing them in, but if you hold it right against your face, you could breathe in those little tiny threads and it would cause airway irritation. I just wanna show you you can see all these little fibers coming out of the bags. This is why I'm talking about you don't wanna breathe this stuff in. So just to be safe, we're not gonna wear this right against our face. We're gonna put it inside of a cloth mask as a filter. So I've got my 
HEPA bag here ready. And what I'm gonna do is trace the filter on there. Now with this one, I only need to leave a seam allowance on the center line. And depending on the type of bags you used and how you position it, you can probably get about four masks out of this. Next, I'm gonna cut these out. Again, leave a quarter inch seam allowance on the center line. You don't need a seam allowance on any of the other sides. Once I've cut it out, that gives me two pieces that are gonna be the left and right side of the mask. And I'm just gonna sew straight down the center line to combine them. All right, so now I've got my face mask piece, I've got my filter piece. What I'm gonna do is flip this, so that way it's right side out. I'm gonna slightly open up this, and with the seam side outwards, I'm gonna tuck it in here. So I'm just gonna get that mask inside of here. Now, here's the tricky part. I'm going to fold over the bottom two sides of fabric. All right, fold them under like this. And I'm going to just pin this in place. When I'm done with this, I'm just gonna use an overcast stitch to close the bottom edge. Now, it could be possible to use some double-sided tape or uh, sewing tape to close the bottom edge, and then you'd be able to just open it up and remove a filter and insert a new one if you wanted to wash the mask. And here you can see what a finished one looks like once the bottom edge is closed. All right, now we're gonna attach the elastic. A lot of face masks will just do an elastic loop on each side of the face mask to go around the ears. I personally don't like these because it puts a lot of strain on the ears, so is it very comfortable? And it also doesn't provide a nice tight fit. So what I do actually is we fold over a little bit on each side of the mask and we sew that down in place to make a channel. Let's try it on. All right, so what are we gonna to use to make the nose piece? There's a bunch of things you could find laying around the house which would work. Uh, for example, the metal closures on coffee bags work well. You could use the little metal pieces on manila envelopes. You could actually cut out a piece of a soda can and maybe file down or bang the edges so it's not sharp. You could make a loop out of wire if you have any wire laying around the house and wrap it with duct tape so that way the wire doesn't poke you in the eyes. A uh, piece of copper wire stripped down would work well. In a real pinch, you could even use the underwire from your bra. If you take a look at this finished face mask, I don't even know what this doodad is. I found it in my toolbox. This face mask, it's actually a little flexible closure strip that was on a bread bag. Let's test one of these out. Isabel, you wanna try it on your mask? This goes over the bottom, get your hair out of there. There we go. That's nice and tight on there. It's a good secure fit covering from the nose and down under the chin. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. All right. If you've got a sewing machine, you can probably crank one of these out in about 15 minutes. If you're sewing by hand, it's probably gonna take you up to an hour to make one. And I'm not saying that these are 100% gonna keep you safe against coronavirus or any other pandemic but it's definitely better than wearing a bra on your face. That's all for me. Stay safe out there.